Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and another video on the Kawasaki Z650B1. Um, some of you may have already noticed that the headlamp is looking a little bit different. Well, what I've done is changed the old original Kawasaki headlamp unit for a brand new LED system. Um, the reason I've done this is that um, although I upgraded the bulb last year from Firstly, the original Kawasaki spec incandescent two candle power bulb to a halogen. The halogen I thought was drawing too much power. And the reason I thought that was that when you use the indicators, there was a little bit of dimness there on the indicators. So I moved from halogen to an LED bulb. And that worked really well in that uh, the light was incredibly bright and it didn't draw as much power but the light pattern and the spread on the road from the original 1970s uh, lens and reflector bowl was absolutely awful. And it would basically alert people that you were there, but you couldn't really see where you were going. I had a look on some of the Kawasaki Z650 Facebook forums and a number of people have already updated their headlamp to the new LED system so I thought I would follow suit and that's what I've done. So let's go back in time and see some of the issues that I faced in putting this headlamp on and what the end results were. If you remember the video from last year where I upgraded the bulbs on the RD, the Kawasaki and the Boxster from their standard halogen and in the case of the Kawasaki incandescent bulbs to LEDs and this was the LED that I put in the Kawasaki and this is what it looked like a year later. Uh, that's, I just found it like that rattling around inside the reflector bowl. So I decided that it's probably going to happen again so why not upgrade to a full LED sealed beam unit and that's what I'm going to hopefully fit. First things first let's get the old reflector bowl out of the chrome bezel. Retaining springs are out. Yep, that's, that's a good fit. There is a kind of a locator there, so I'm going to trust that that is in the center. Put the springs in and see what it looks like the other side. Okay, putting those clips in was relatively painless. I didn't trap my finger and I didn't lose one across the garage floor. I started to peel back the uh, PVC casing on the wires with a view to cutting off this green plug. But I did wonder whether or not that might have contained something like a ballast resistor. So in the end, I decided not to do that, but to go down to the local scrapyard and pick up a halogen H4 bulb plug from a car and solder that into the Kawasaki loom and simply plug it into the LED light. Here's the original Kawasaki wires. Um, and what I've done is cut off the connectors, the male and female connectors, and then soldered them onto the scrapyard uh, H4 bulb holder and then protectively wrap those solders. It then goes back into the standard Kawasaki harness. So now the idea is to get that whole light assembly and the additional wiring into the clamshell and give it a test. Okay, it's all fitted. Gives it quite a modern look actually. You'd almost think this is a modern retro bike. Anyway, how does it look? So side lights, dip beam, high beam. Just the daytime running light. Going to high 
pipe beam. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you possibly with the 650 RS in comparison to the old master in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.